Hey guys, it's me, Aditi Sparkles. So today we are going to be do, uh, doing another jams. I know it's been quite some time actually since we've done a jams. So today's topic is going to be the Demetrius table. Now, if you don't know what the periodic table is, it's basically a table of all the elements that make up Earth. And so Dmitri Mendeleev is the person who found a far-sighted, like, um, thing of the periodic table. It's very different from what is now the periodic table. So, why not let's see. Now, I know you guys might be thinking, who on earth is Dimitri? That's quite a weird name. Well, let's find out. Dun, da, 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 da. meant to leave. I want to get a picture of it. Where on earth is he? Oh, hey. So his full name is Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev. He was born in 8th February 1834 in Russia. Cool. I like your name a lot. He died sadly because who can live for a thousand years? Anyways, at 1907 in St. Petersburg, Russia. And he's known for creating the first periodic table. A lot of scientists were making things like this, but he was the one who publicized it and made it popular. But this is the draft, by the way. He's a Russian chemist. He had two wives and children. Now, let's see the start of his periodic table. Hmm, let me see. Mm -hmm. What language is this? This is Russian, but I can't even understand the writing. Well, that's because he could only understand his periodic table. And I feel like the down letters are D Mendeleev. Anyways. And he made it with 60 elements. Now, the modern periodic table has 120 elements. There are actually more, but they didn't include that. <laughs> and every element had only been written with two things, the atomic weight and chemical symbol. Atomic weight? Hmm, that's really cool. Let's see. What is that? So in the mid-1800s, the time Dmitry Mendeleev was, was a chemist, they didn't have the technology like microscopes and really cool technology like we have right now. But they used several experiments with their technology. They had the most advanced technology in science. And in Dmitry's table, he took all that information. And if you noticed, in that first table we saw in the start, it was actually, for some of them, they had question marks. That means the atomic weight was not found that time. Let's see the modern periodic table, because I've been talking about that quite some time. Where on earth is it? I want to see a photo of it. Well, you might think it's exactly the same, just cues, but really, no. Everything is organized beautifully by color, and everything has an atomic mass and number, chemical symbol, name, and group. So some symbols are from their Latin form, like gold is aurum in Latin, so they put AU for gold. That's why it's not G-O. So now it's really easy to understand um, the periodic table and everybody can understand it if they know what everything means or a little bit about it. Now, why is a periodic table named as a periodic table? Period. Now, it's not any period like the full stop. Period is a row in a periodic table and the electron orbit levels are same in one row in, or period. So, for example, let's take the, the final row. 
all all their orbital levels, um, meaning electron orbit levels, are the same. That's why they're in the same row. But the color is for their chemical group, actually. Fun fact, the lightest element is hydrogen. In conclusion, Demetrius' table is easier to understand if you alter it a lot. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this gems. Please share if you love this video and think it's informative. Please like, subscribe for more, and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more like this in a jot. I'll see you next time. Bye.